mic, which would have been awkward. Very awkward. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Jay from JK Pros, and I am here playing Uncharted Among Thieves. Well, technically, technically right now I'm playing Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection, but I am about to be playing Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. If you were tuning in last time, or if you saw any of the other ones, you would have seen me playing through Drake's Fortune. But, alas, we are done with Drake's Fortune, and we are moving on up to bigger and better things. The remastered version of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, which is a magical game. The first one was super awesome, and it totally pulled me into the world. But if you have not played number two, this game is just phenomenal. Let me just say that. And it also has multiplayer, which is dope. But we are going to start a new game. Campaign? Continuous speed run. I saw that on the first one as well. I'm guessing it cuts out all the cinematics and it's like how fast can you play the game but I'm not doing that because I like the campaign the campagne yes new whatever cool all right cool probably didn't hear a little bit of that whatever I was just talking about new game stuff whatever let's go game I did not tell half of what I saw for I knew I would not be believed, Marco Polo, on his deathbed, 1324. Alright, let's get the fuck off this train. Come here, door. I bet you got something useful for me, don't you? Like, can you just give me a hand, door? No? Okay. This way. To the side of the, uh... Slowly but surely. The side of the train. Come on. Come on, you got it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come on. Yes. Alright. Just slowly but surely. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck a duck. Alright. Going back at it. Can I go this... Uh, I go this way, right? Yeah. X to jump. Welcome to tutorial. Mmm, yeah. Satisfactory. At best. Alright, come on, train. We got it. Oh, Nelly. Just take the pieces of the train I don't need anymore, okay? You can do that. Just leave me be. Don't you break on me now, Paul. I have full faith in you. Oh, okay. Okay, this is what we talked about. This is what we talked about, okay? Okay. Or not. Oh, oh goodness. Good thing these, these little rivets are here for me. Or you got it. Yeah. Oh, goodness. That latch. Come on, get in there. Yeah. Come on. Zaza. We need it. Oop. My B. Oh, Nelly. Oh. All right. Which direction are we going? Here we are. Yeah. Back on trusty pole here. <coughs> Don't you, don't, don't, stop. Please stop. Please, please stop. Please. Come on. Alright, let that adrenaline rush through your blood. You still got some work to do here, Nate. And my best bet would be to run. If you can. 
And all that train wreckage back there is no good. Come on, go. 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 Big haste. Run, sir. Run. Oh, no, no. That was a big jump. Oh, but I'm a badass. That's right. I get your booty up. Come on. Yeah, flashbacks. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. The Travels oh, no. of Marco Polo. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Sir. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. Loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what? Bob well, is not my uncle, sir. Trouble, I hear you ask. I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, if any so of you guys have been watching there, Marco Polo on Netflix, it's totally a serious watch. To be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Just throwing that out there. Look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn <laughs> straight. <Absolutely. laughs> you in then? the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> the foreshadowing. Alright. I just love the fact that it goes from, like, stressful situation, little backstory, stressful situation, little backstory, and it keeps, like, pushing forward, even though, like, 
that it's not a consistent everything's about what's going on here or what's going on there. Uh, I don't know. Everything about this one is just so much better than the first. Like, it's like the building block that they needed to get it off the ground, and then this one just uh, it just adds on to everything. It's fucking great. Uh, I think I have to go through here before it falls. Come on, baby. Ooh. It made me jump a little bit. <laughs> go. There's no way out. But there's fire burning in front of me. Um, I, I'm trying to think about where we are right now in the world. I think, I think it's Siberia. Can't remember. It's one of those cold places. One of those cold places with lots of snow. You know it. All right. Stay next to the fire. Stay warm. Ooh, more guns. You know this means. <laughs> Ooh. Pew pew. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. <laughs> All right. He's alive. Oh. You trying to shoot me, son? Shooting a live man. <laughs> All right. 